dogs or cats can so suddenly go down and their eyes can dance like this. And this is called vestibular disease. Uh, an older dog or cat will suddenly go down and appear really up, off balance. In people, it's called vertigo. And they might look like they just don't know where they are. And their head will bob and they'll look around. That could, that's a sign of uh, they have the inner ear in inflammation that can appear suddenly. The cause is unknown. It's thought to be kind of a blood vessel or maybe due to hypertension. We look at the blood count in cats and you can see this is the scrolling down on the blood results and all the dots are within the middle lines and none of them are red. And I'll show you for veterinarians they have it easier. When, it, 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 when they're elevated you can see they're in red. But those are minor elevations in the glucose and the kidney. The, what we check out with the cats, and I didn't show you looking at her here, but we look down that ear and in, into the canal, and uh, the, we look down to make sure that eardrum isn't perforated or there isn't any infection in there. And it may look uh, really grody or may have mites or wax down in there and look something like that. And if it looks like that, then we know that it could be down in the ear in middle ear or inner ear and that's where the balance center is. So once uh, this kitty's ears look fine, there wasn't mites in there, it wasn't an infection, we took blood pressure readings and the blood pressure is below 180 uh, which means hypertension may not be causing the stroke. A stroke. We gave her a shot of Serenia which is a motion sickness drug. Um, it really works great for cats for motion sickness and dogs for vomiting and cats for vomiting. Um, we use it quite a bit these days. Uh, so after the injection, uh, her eyes stopped dancing that much and she started to feel a lot better. She was more comfortable in the cage. And so I was really happy it wasn't some much weird thing better. like a brain tumor or a stroke. Much better, kitty. And I could really feel confident that much I could diagnose better. vestibular disease. Oh, you like that. So that's Look what it looks like in kitties. It can happen in dogs, too. It can go, they can do it out suddenly, and uh, you might think it's a seizure, or it could be any kind of a brain infection, like a toxoplasmosis also. But if we rule out all the infectious causes, and we don't think the the blood pressure isn't really high and they respond to an injection of the uh, serenia then you can feel a lot better that probably it's just a what we call old dog and old cat vestibular disease they think uh, i guess mri studies have shown that it could be something vascular in the middle ear where we can have a ruptured uh, vessel somewhere in there so a lot of people say it's similar to a stroke the symptoms and it can be when it's in this most severe form most of the mild forms like this are just a little bit of vertigo and then it goes away in a few weeks but anyway if you have a chance check out dog dish diet and um, i am writing a new book called dog diet answer book and it's going to have a lot of updated information for feeding your dog and if you want to feed your cat home cooked food there's always feed your pet to avoid the vet it's a uh, home cooked uh, home cooking for cats that you can do in your crock pot have a great day.